Hello everyone, this is Amdi Nurlaf sir. Uh, today I am going to discuss about FortiGate 600D firewall. Uh, today, actually, I am going to uh, give some brief uh, about FortiOS uh, 60, which is a operating system of FortiGate, FortiGate firewall. Actually, FortiGate is a um, next. FortiGate is called uh, next generation firewall, which is operate uh in osi 7 layer there, that's why it is called as uh, layer 7 uh, firewall also so um, i'm going to show today the feature of this 40 OS, which is uh, included uh, with 40 OS 60 okay let's just start uh, now you can see my dashboard okay or I can add uh, any white gate uh, from this from this setting. Okay, I can customize uh, about my uh, as far as my requirement. This dash dashboard can be customized by anyone uh, as far as their requirement. Okay, so I customize my dashboard in according to my requirement. Fire, you can see uh, the system information, server information, CPU, memory, disk, session per second, log rate, session rate, etc. So, uh, you can see from left hand side, uh, there is a favorite menu. Uh, by default, this menu is not added by FortiOS itself uh, you have to uh, add there uh, you any option any kind of option which is uh, frequently needed for you so how can you add this option mm, I will show uh, one by one in in my next video okay this is a favorite menu which actually needed uh, for me frequently I added those uh, settings here uh, this is a dashboard this dashboard uh, where you can customize your dash dashboard as well as far as your uh, requirement this is 14 info uh, which is created by me 14 info uh, where each of the system information is available there okay uh, this is link monitor where I can add where I added uh, uplink information. Actually, uplink interface. Uh, I, I want to see uplink interface status from there. That's why I added each of the uplink. Uh, actually, I have uh, four uplink in my company, but uh, now the three interfaces down for maintenance purpose. And this is the point to point for to get to my critic point to point interface where you can see the traffic every time and here you can see the traffic for last 24 hours uh, the traffic from my photo get uh, goes to which countries uh, which ips etc and as well as the total traffic uh, here h status high availability status is shown here actually you can edit any of uh, any white gate uh, to any dashboard as far as your requirement from there i will show that uh, one by one in, uh, in my next video okay this is the threat monitor where, <coughs> where you can add Threat related uh, white gate. This is also available from the study. Okay, uh, this is advanced threat protection, uh, which is from 40, 40 gate. I will discuss about it later. Uh, 40 client detected vulnerabilities. Uh, um, 40 client actually is a client software which is work with 40 gate. It is a antivirus software uh, which can be installed. Uh, in every host okay here you can see if 
any kinds of vulnerabilities detected by uh, any of your host. Host description summary shows their system information shows their protect cloud information shows their uh, security fabric ratings also shows their uh, here top and endpoint devices by vulnerabilities will show there okay and there are uh, some of my servers where body client is installed so um, that's it uh, from dashboard now i'm going to uh, i have to go uh, to secret fabric where you can see the physical topology <coughs> physical topology actually uh, it, is, it shows the connectivity connectivity from my 40 gate to internet and from my 40 gate to my local network logical topology <coughs> will show the internal connectivity or virtual connectivity this is not physical connectivity and that's why you can see uh, I can um, I connected to the internet from this type uh, this uh, this, uh, this interface okay and from there uh, local uh, 16 interfaces I connected to my local network okay I will uh, give details information uh, about there about, about this in my uh, next video okay here uh, you can see the security ratings security ratings by security fabric uh, where actually the vertical automatically detect your running configuration and uh, find out some uh, lackings if you have so my security rating scores is plus 385 and which is miss, missing actually this is uh, for a uh, little bit reason uh, which is not required by me or required by my organization etc um, for example here you can see the industrial database for industrial database update uh, 15 point is reduced so i don't need this database for my uh, my company uh, for my 40 gate actually i don't have subscription of this uh, database also and that is the problem here you um, you can see some policies which which is never used for last 19 days i actually disable some of my policies which is not required by me but it may be uh, needed for next time that's why i did not delete it completely that's why it is shows there so uh, this is not a big issue uh, and here you can see the password uh, admin password policy uh, admin, uh, i did not apply any admin password policy by i um, but i always used a hard password uh, and i also enabled two-factor authentication uh, for my 40 get uh, for admin admin profile but i did not uh, enable this because um, that's why it shows that some of leggings two criticals problems the medium problems 27 are fast actually okay I will. and here's the setting body analyzer setting fabric connectors security fabric connectors here now i am in 40 view where you can see each of the traffic each of the logs from land to uh, from land from when uh, etc or um, here you can see all segment that means here you can see the traffic from your land and um, to your when uh, that means you can see from local connectivity, local to uplink, uplink to local, each of the connectivity log from here. For example, log session. Now you can see my sources, source, source IP, destination IP, uh, source devices, MAC address, uh, source devices, interface, etc. I will discuss about it actually later. If I going to discuss each of 
each of the each of everyone feature uh, and there might be a uh, needed, a, needed a lot of time okay i will discuss one by one uh, each of the configuration one by one in my next video continuously okay uh, here from traffic from LAN, you can see only uh, from a LAN. Okay, you can see uh, log from a LAN. You can see log from my LAN to destination. You can see uh, application log. Okay, which application is used by uh, my local? And you can see cloud application etc websites trades actually i for view is widely used for monitoring your network activity network activity uh, it is also is widely used for troubleshooting purposes from there you can see uh, all session uh, from all session you can see you can find out which of every traffic for a specific ip and you can find out here from there uh, which traffic is blocked why blocked uh, which traffic should block or not etc from there you can find out uh, any kind of problem and you can solve it and you can solve it uh, very quickly okay i will show you there now network from there you can see interfaces dns dns server sdn uh, <coughs> performance monitor actually activity monitor of WAN, sdn rules static routes policy and some other uh, dynamic routing protocols here uh, now we can see the interface uh, actually uh, for ticket uh, with 40 get 600 g i have 16 interfaces for um, eight interfaces are as uh, as a port and eight are fast standard port and two are for uh, management port for management purpose and this is also 10 gigahertz as a ports two 10 gigahertz as ports here you can see my um, configuration and uh, now my active point uh, one ports is nine and point to one local ports is here you can see the dns information dns server sd1 sd1 uh, actually is a most important feature by 40 get sd1 means software defined one uh, what is the purpose behind sd1 SD1 is actually works uh, greater for uh, load balance for failovers etc you can use uh, each of your one or uh, one ports one connectivity here you can add each uh, each of one one connectivity one ports here and you know, with with its gateway and you can assign uh, as uh, that into a uh, one as the one if you add any of that it will work as a failover you can assign uh, also also load balance by bandwidth volume session per session etc okay performance SLA uh, this is used for uh, monitoring your one connectivity randomly okay here some aesthetic routes you can use here um, some pol policy routes from there and there are some dynamic protocols which is not uh, used uh, currently in my 48 now here is the system. Uh, in system, uh, here um, administrator, uh, which is which will be uh, used for managing for the get 
you can create some administrator profiles here read only reads only super user uh, professional user etc here you can see your current firmware version uh, from there you can uh, find out latest firmware uh, etc uh, from there you can upgrade your firmware uh, in time settings uh, here is my put your settings okay. here is high availability uh, settings SNMP configuration uh, replacement message actually replacement message is that when some of traffic is blocked by your photogat it will show some pop-up message to users and this is called replacement message. i will discuss about it here photogat uh, photogat uh, here actually you can see my photogat service subscription and other things etc Replication. From there, uh, you can monitor your overall traffic which goes from your firewall to public network. Uh, um, from there, you can find out your uh, malicious traffic, recognized traffic, trusted traffic, botnet uh, traffic, etc. By uh, searching here with a specific IP or fully qualified dom domain name. Actually. Uh, actually uh, some domain name you can use a specific domain also here uh, to find out this traffic okay and here's the advance from that uh, you can use some script manually uh, you can upload some script for there to apply to 40 get uh, USB install, USB driver, and debug logs, X setting, etc. Feature visibility. <coughs> Here. Here you can see the 40 get 600D firewalls feature, uh, which is enabled. Which not enable uh, actually you can enable any kinds of feature as far as you recommend otherwise uh, it should be visible for example BIP wireless open security etc allow unnamed, un unnamed policy etc IP version 6 uh, control is disabled text um, this is uh, recently added to 46 yes. Certificates. This is what you get between certificates. You can use uh, that uh, for your government external resources. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Uh, I will show uh, another things into my next video. Okay, bye and see you later. I hope uh, you are enjoying this video. I hope you can learn so many things about FortiGate one by one if you uh, keep connected with me. So please uh, subscribe this channel and like this video.